How About That Cigar is proud to bring you coverage of the 2022 PCA Show, and it's all brought to you by the new Nika Rustica Adobe from Drew Estate. How about that cigar back again at PCA 2022? We have Lee Marsh from Stolen Throne. Brother, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to it see you. Is, it is your first ever PCA it is. trade show. Yeah, very much, man. It's been crazy. It is our first show. We were packed. I don't know if you swung by yesterday, but you couldn't. There was a standing room only. Yeah. So it's been insane. We're super happy. We're super thankful for everyone coming out. Everyone's super supportive for us being here. So we're happy Good. to be here. Man. Good. So uh, talk us through a little bit about what you're featuring if there's you know because we know you're not only a new brand but you know you also have stuff you're working on all the time so is there anything kind of that you're featuring at this year's trade show yeah so we have you know the full allotment you know the crooks the calls and the three kingdoms but we also are showing off our first limited edition um the phantom queen right so this cigar is actually we talked about this a couple years ago actually yeah so this cigar has been done for like two years but because of covid and Product, our production demand went through the roof, so we had to make decisions on what do we really want to put out. Yeah. So we're finally getting some stuff off. We, we, we told everyone this year that you know really what you're going to see from us is the limited editions that we've kind of worked on, had them ready to go, and yeah. ready to go out the door. So the Phantom Queen will be our first 10 count box. Okay. It'll be an Ecuadorian Connecticut full bodied Bellicosa. So nice. It's, it's, nice. We're looking for those to ship in September. Okay. It's been great. Pre order's been going nuts. So look, for all the existing clients we have, look for them there. They'll be nationwide. So. Good. So, as you you know, look around, you know the trade show can sometimes be a little overwhelming. That's very But like you said, day one yesterday was insane for you. It was nuts, man. And as you look around and you start to get to know some new retailers who maybe have heard about you a little bit, yeah. and then start to get to know you as people, what do you? That's what always you, a bad thing for me. Yeah. Everything's good <laughs> until they meet me. <laughs> but what are you? What are you trying to? You know do to build those relationships with the new retailers? Well, we've always been really picky. I mean, you're yeah. you're familiar with some of our spots in, in your right. hometown. So, you know, for us, we're very relationship driven. Yeah. You know, like you and I, we've been friends for a couple of years, you know, so it's very important for us to kind of spread what we're doing. We're doing things what we consider to be the right way. And uh, so getting a chance to explain that and walk people through it, and I'll be honest with you, one thing that's undershadowed in the community is the retailers that have had us for a while. They're here promoting us to other retailers. Nice. And so that's been a huge help, man. You know, the guys have been working nonstop. Absolutely. Noel and I have been slammed. So that's really like the, the, the community itself is just beautiful. Having people yeah. that have been with us since day one here selling all their friends and other retailers they talk to about bringing us in. So it's been awesome. Good. It's part of that grassroots that we've always done. And what, so from, like you mentioned, the you're picky about your retail partners. The ones who have been retail partners of yours, whether they've stopped by the trade show or they're not coming to the trade show, what kind of feedback are you getting from them and from their customers about your products? So we've always been grassroots, right? Yeah. I always tell people that it's still about 98% of our growth is basically consumers harassing them to tobacconists. Yeah. Like, dude, why aren't you bringing this in? What are you right. doing? And that continues to be the show. And like, we've had, I've had like four guys come up to me today for re retailers saying, this guy won't leave me alone. Please open the account so he'll leave me alone. So yeah. it's, that's, I mean, that's truly a blessing. Man. Absolutely. You know, we, I'm a funny guy, I like to joke around, but I can't explain how much that really means to me, you know? Yeah. Especially with the state of the market, a lot of great cigars out there. And so for people to champion our stuff that way is awesome. Good. Yeah. So a uh, final reminder for guys watching, where is the best place for them to f keep up with everything going on with Stolen Follow Throne? Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. We're super responsive. You can reach out to myself or Phil, but if you if you reach out to either the Instagram or Facebook, we'll get back to you. We'll put you in you know, touch with any retailer you need to find. Also, September, we'll launch the website. We've okay. been getting it. I finally lamented we're getting one of those. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> um, so you'll be able to buy our limited edition merch and as well interactive maps for the limited editions and find retailers nationwide. Good deal. Good deal. Well, Lee, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate Appreciate your time. Thanks, dude. And uh, wish you a great rest of the trade show. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much, dude. All right. Thanks, guys. More PCA trade show coverage.